The yellow line of squares represent epithelial cells, and that's part of the cells. They're one of the cell types that makes up the colon or the large intestine. And the tops or the little fingers are also that sort of point up at the top of the uh, rectangles are uh, form a help form the barrier that separates the intestine from what's inside the colonic contents which include many, many different bacteria that are sort of schematized in green and purple. Dendritic cells are part of the immune system that also make up the colon or the large intestine. And a long arm of a dendritic cell is actually sticking into the lumen um, or inside of the colon and sampling the bacteria. That's part of the normal process that happens there. T-bed is usually expressed in the colonic dendritic cell, and there is a T cell, or in particular a T regulatory cell, that's nestled next to the dendritic cell. That's also shown there. Mm -hmm. In our model, the mice are missing TBET because that gene has been deleted in these mice, and they're also missing T regulatory cells. In fact, they are missing all of the adaptive immune system. When T-bed is missing from a colonic dendritic cell, the dendritic cell makes a lot of tumor necrosis factor alpha, or TNF-alpha. This results in epithelial cell death, and holes form. The barrier is now broken. Many, many bacteria then can come across that barrier and further contribute to inflammation in the intestine. Antibiotics can alter the bacteria that are present in the colon, and in this model, a certain cocktail of antibiotics, and in particular one antibiotic, can cure the disease. And that's important because in patients, you can achieve some remission uh, or improvement of disease by treating with antibiotics, and in that sense this model is also rather similar to the human disease. Now, the other intervention that is, is very powerful in curing this disease is what I've already alluded to, which is uh, blocking uh, the activity uh, of this harmful cytokine TNF-alpha. I think the amazing thing about um, the mucosal immune system, about the gut, is that you have a single layer of these epithelial cells and that's really all that's standing between the immune system as shown here by the cell in green, the dendritic cell, and the cell in red, the T regulatory cell. The only thing that's standing between all those bacteria and the immune system is this single layer of epithelial cells. I mean, we have literally billions of bacteria in the gut. Uh, and some of these are, are very important. Some of them are protective, but some of them can be harmful. So it's a very delicate balance, and it looks to us as if TBET, this transcriptional regulatory protein, uh, is really acting to keep that very delicate balance in check. And we, we like to refer to it as being a peacekeeper at the host pathogen interface. So the interface between bacteria, between the immune system that allows the intestine to function normally is controlled by this protein. That was really quite a surprise to us. It was, uh, we, did, we did not expect that, that Tibet would be a new player in this um, very delicately balanced uh, regulatory system that's necessary for the integrity of, of the intestine.